Hey everyone, it's Big Smoons with a Platinum Review, where I talk about the games that I have the Platinum Trophy or 100% on and what it took to get there. I also review the games based on the amount of fun I had. If you could turn back time, if you could find a way, would you? Dive into a butterfly effect game to try and change the past. Let's get started. Last Day of June was developed by Ovo Sonico and released in 2017. It's an adventure style game with an overall puzzle element. The game takes heavy inspiration from the song and music video of Drive Home by Steven Wilson. Honestly, if you play this game and then go watch that music video, it's immediately apparent that the developers essentially turned that video into a video game. The game starts off with your main character Carl and his wife June having a date by the pier. June surprises Carl with a gift, but a thunderstorm kicks up and the two must rush to their car before he can open it. On the way home in the rain, Carl must swerve to avoid hitting a child in the road. As a result of this car crash, June passes away and Carl is left in a wheelchair. You wake up in your dark living room, depressed and hungry. While looking for a can opener, Carl rediscovers paintings that his late wife had done of herself and all the other citizens of the town. There must have been some magic in June's paintings, because it lights up when Carl touches it, and he's able to travel back in time to the day of the crash. He slips into the mind of the kid who ran into the street. Carl can now see what led the boy into the road in the first place. Carl comes out of the kid's mind and back into his dark home. Outside, a painting of the kid has appeared along with faded memories of Carl's time with June. Upon finding the painting outside, Carl can go back and change the past. This is what turns the game into a bit of a puzzle. You can stop the kid from chasing a ball into the street, but that leads to a new tragedy befalling the couple in the form of boxes falling off of a truck. The game begins to teeter on ridiculousness and I couldn't help but laugh as the clock strikes 7pm and for some reason you're crashing again. This is a town of six people and a dog, and yet at 7pm, everyone's out on the exact same street causing a vehicle accident. This happens multiple times as you alter everyone's actions to stop the crash from happening. The crash keeps coming anyway. It gets more ridiculous each time and it's comical as it nears the end. And then it isn't. Carl wakes up once more having failed. He's completely dejected and the scene reflects this as well as how he now gets into and rolls around in his chair. He is defeated and this hit me like a truck. I felt Carl's sadness. I myself have only been married a little over a year, and I can't imagine losing my wife. I can't imagine losing her and then failing over and over again at my attempts to save her. The game turns at this point, and as you rapidly approach the end, the lump in my throat got bigger and became harder to swallow. The ending is beautifully tragic, and from start to finish only takes about two hours, even when going for all of the trophies. I give Last Day of June a 7 out of 10 for fun. The replaying of scenes can get obnoxious at times. Thankfully, the developers plan for this, and once you play a scene once, the amount of time it takes to repeat the action drastically lowers, especially during the lengthy Hunter segment. However, the actual replaying of the scenes is not fun, and there's no way to skip the cutscenes that play over and over. This game is intriguing and figuring out the next step to move the plot forward is fun on its own. The story is really where the game shines, and the subject matter is tough to digest. It's a great game for a one-time playthrough. Let's talk trophies. There are 21 trophies for the 100%, and no platinum. A majority of them are earned from miscellaneous tasks, and most of these are missable. There is no chapter select or backtracking, so try to get them all in one go, or go ahead and prepare for a partial second run. The game is short enough to rush through and pick up any that you missed. At the start of the game, stand up and grab a flower before going to the car. Take this flower and give it to June for a trophy. Grab a second flower and pluck all the petals for a second trophy before the game even really begins. You will take control of June with a knocking at the door. Answer it, and when you open the door and grab the present, run upstairs with June and place the present with the teddy bear in the bedroom. Look at all the paintings in the house, to include the one on the refrigerator. 
You will often reach points where you must go outside at night as Carl. There are dioramas everywhere outside showing memories of Carl and June. Go up to each one and hit the action button to listen to them. Doing all of them will unlock a trophy. While we're talking about collectibles, each character besides Carl has five memories to grab. These are floating blue bubbles with the character's face on them. Grab all five with each of the four characters for four more trophies. Once you take control of the kid in his backyard, try to throw the soccer ball into the hoop until a trophy pops. You'll also need to knock over four vases, but this should come naturally while completing the story and getting the collectibles. While you're the old man, you can use the key only he has to access the graveyard. You'll have to do this to earn his collectibles anyway. Near where the kite is located, there's a telescope you must look through to see Carl and June on the dock. The other eight trophies are story related. Last Day of June is an emotional powerhouse while never uttering a single word. The trophies can all be gotten in one playthrough, but if you miss any, it may require an additional playthrough. I love these personal story games, and a single two hour playthrough to pick up the trophies here is well worth the journey. So I recommend you get that 100%. Thanks for watching everyone. Since today is the last day of June, tomorrow kicks off the Big Smoons Platinum Fundraiser for Teen Life. I'll be streaming on my Twitch at Big Smoons throughout July. So swing by and hang out. Donations are appreciated, but not needed if you just want to watch me play. I'll likely be playing a variety of games that I enjoy, but I'm also open to suggestions. The link in the description below is live if you want to donate now. You guys have been nothing but great. As always, be good to yourself.